My name's Lawrence Oswetty, like heavyweight boxer and watching sport icons. Alright everyone, got a very special fighter today, Jeff Saunders. How are you my man? I'm alright mate, yourself? I'm good, thanks very much. You enjoying the weather in quarantine? Yeah. yeah. Imagine to do do much like uh, runs and all that kind of thing to try and keep in shape. Yeah, so and so and so, man. It's just a bit difficult. Um, obviously, the running part isn't, you know. Uh, but the training, like, like the punching side, it's a bit, um, it's a bit tricky, you know, without a sparring partner to get your punched in or a pad man, you know, to start to motivate yourself. Yeah. Make it a bad situation, that's all I'm doing. No, that's it, that's it. And the, and the house of family, are they enjoying it? Are they enjoying you being around? It's great. To be honest, mate, I'm, I'm, I'm on lockdown with me girlfriend. Okay. My mum's stuck in Gregan area with the brother in Spain. Um, I'm in the house with my girlfriend. Um, and the other brother's moving to the other brother of Bradley's stuck in Spain. It over is the house. And okay. the brother's with his girlfriend. And the other brother is with my nana. <laughs> so right, okay. Oh, good, yeah. And how's Brad, anyway? He's good, mate. He's good. I think they've got a hard over there on Spain because their lockdown rules are a bit more tight than I think than I was. So, oh, okay. Um, I think he's, I think he's starting to feel it a little bit, but he's alright. Uh, so, I mean, um, is this come at like the wrong time for you? Because uh, you were really starting to like m make like a bit of a comeback after a while out, weren't you? I was, yeah. Um, like I said, it's been a I've only had two fights in the last year, but I've been out of action for like almost three years. Uh, more fault yeah. than my own, but yeah. Yeah, it does. It's, it's, it's just like every time it's all over, it's just like someone shooting it again in my face, you know, because I should have realistically had another another one under my belt now after that one in February, the 29th. Yeah. And I wanted, to, I wanted to keep on the bounce then, you know, just to keep myself active, get a few more warmer fights, you know, and then, and then get, in, get in with the big lads again. But, like I said, it's, it's a shame, but I'm only 20, I'm 28 now, I'm 29 in September, so I've still got a good few years left. Yeah. Um, Definitely. To, to get to get where I want to be, you know, and it won't take as long. I don't think. No, I just need. I need realistically. I need a couple of ten round fights or eight round fights, should I say? Um, yeah. If I was back up there, you know, so I'm so I know where I'm standing. Yeah. Well, your last fight, you showed that uh, you've still got like um, a decent engine on you. Yeah, but um, I, well, I trained. I did train after that fight, you know, and um, I was I was a good. But, uh, Five kilo of my championship weight, six kilo. Uh, so I did feel that uh, in the ring, you know. Um, but I still, I still got. I see, you know, what was he? I know he had a losing record, mate, but he's a tough, durable lad. That um, he took a few kids. <laughs> you know, so it was a good, uh, a good fight to come back to. Help me on. Uh, like I said, I still felt a little bit rusty. Right. Just under the lights and cameras and all the rest of it, you know. No, that's right. So, um, are you still with their Frank Warren? I am, yes. Oh. Yeah, because I, I think it'd be like a good idea for Frank Warren and maybe you guys have already had the conversation because with like a northeast boxing on the rise, I mean, like, with like yourself, uh, Troy Williamson and uh, Joe McFolsa and that, you know, I think that uh, Frank Warren could put on um, a cracking show up here, couldn't he? He could, you know, definitely, yeah. Um, like I said, there's a few lads um, who he's talking about, even um, it was my old stable mate, Michael Watson. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, He's only had the one, uh, only had the one fight. No, I think he's only got two, sorry now. Um, you know, but he's, 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 he's got the power to knock people out, you know what I mean? So he can put on a good show, so there is. Yeah. There is some, um, some good uh, prospects up in the north, in the north east of England. Uh, oh, so it would be a shame, but not to get us all on a big show, you know, to showcase us all. Definitely, definitely. It's a shame that uh, Frank and Eddie don't, don't really like uh, get on too well, isn't it? So, so like, uh, I know. But... So, can you confirm or deny these rumours that I'm hearing that you're moving to middleweight? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I think box reps, mate, just put that out. <laughs> no chance that I'm moving to middleweight. I'm a middleweight now, mate. So I might be like heavy at the minute, but so I'll, I'll be getting down to 10 stone, mate. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Um, like I said, <laughs> So I'm not a robot, you know, it's, uh, when I had that two years layout, you know, I, I didn't think we got our license, we were going to get back to you know, so I, I, I've been training, I've been in the gym since I was six, six, seven year old. Um, yeah. So yeah, I did, I, I, I enjoyed myself in the pit of time, you know, um, yeah. so I did, I put on, a, I went up a few, a few weights, you know, so, but for that last fight there, I dropped, what did I say, stone and a half, to get down to the 10 stone 10, 
Bloody hell. So I've got to drop another stone in a bit to get down to the 10, the 10 mark. But like I say, if I, if I, as long as I'm active and I'm in the gym and I'm getting the fights there for us, you know, and I've got, and my name's on the board, I'll be in training and that, that weight will come down because I'm, I'm naturally, I know, I know I can get that, I know I can get that weight and that's what I showcase myself at. When I beat Stephen Lewis and I've been trying to eliminate her and that's, that's the weight I want to compete at, so. Yeah. It'll take me a bit, but I will get there, definitely. That's it. So do you see yourself like your future um, at, at Super Welter then? Yes, Super Welter. Uh, no, super Lightweight now. Yeah, yeah. Super Lightweight, yes. That's, yeah, that's, that's where I want to be, mate. That's where, that's where the title's are for me. Super Light. If I can't, if I, if I can't get that weight, then so be it. I'll have to step up. But that's, that's my goal to get down to that weight, mate. Oh, OK. Huh? OK, so um, you could, for Joe, Joe yeah. Lord, he wants to be, be in that division as well, doesn't he? You want to? Joe Laws, he wants to get himself down to there as well, doesn't he? I think Joe Laws is there, you know. I think he's talking about going down to lightweight. Lightweight? Yeah, I know that. I know. But, uh, fair play to him. He, he sticks it out, you know what I mean? He's, he keeps he keeps everything on point, so there's no reason why he can't. Day before win, you know? Yeah, that's it. That's it. Now, when you look around at uh, um, your stable, because I was speaking with uh, Nick Gittes there, and yeah. like um, he's going through each and every one of you. I mean, he slagged you off big time. No, he didn't really. Did he? <laughs> no, he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, no, he didn't. Well, he said that uh, uh, um, he didn't think that uh, you realised how good you actually are. Right. Yeah. He does tell me that. Yeah. yeah just you know what I mean? Lewis, like Lewis, like like uh, the the end the end goals. You know what I mean? Sometimes. So. Yeah. Jamie Bates when uh, Joe Laws punched me in the face when he wasn't supposed to hit me. Yes, I think I was right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. My turn next, right? When this lockdown's over. Ah, that's the one. That's the one. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, he wasn't supposed to like a, like a proper hit me. I was meant to like a faint and like a just go down, but he actually right. proper punched me in the nose. I'm like Jesus. <laughs> He's a good lad though, and uh, April as well, she's quality. Yeah, she is always, she's nice general lassie, uh, April, I've got a lot of time for her. Um, yeah, she is, like I say, she's, when the, I don't think I've seen her come unstuck yet, with, when she's been sparring her, I think, you know what I mean, she's, she's definitely got the, the talent, you know, she's, she's got the skill, she's got the talent, she's always trying to learn, she's always like, jumping on with me, learning, 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 when, she, when, she, when she's in the ring, she puts everything, what she's learned off, on the floor, in the ring, you know, so she can tell she's listening. So she will shield, she'll achieve uh, great things, I believe. That's it. Have you, had, um, have you had much chance to um, work much with uh, Tommy? Tommy? Hodgson. Uh, well, yeah, well, a few times, yeah. Um, he, I think he started coming at the, just at the back end of my camp for, for the last fight. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, Tommy's a crack lad, you know, he's a great boxer. Uh, Tommy is very, very tidy. Yeah. Um, but like I say, yeah, we've, only had, we've only had a few, say, a couple of weeks, if that, in the gym together, at, at best, you know. Yeah. But yeah, I'm looking forward, I'm looking forward to getting this all, uh, this lockdown out of the way with and getting back to uh, being locked away and living like a monk again, even though that's what we're meant to be doing now, like, but <laughs> when I'm, yeah, I live uh, about an hour away from you, that's what. Yeah, you do, yeah. When I'm up there, I've got my own flat, like, I've got upstairs, so it's literally, I'm open, I live like literally, I'm a gym rat, I live in the gym, mate. Oh, that's fantastic, though. That's, yeah. that's, that's what I need, to be honest, I need to be away, locked away, in the gym, and there's no distractions, you know? Oh, that's it. So, do you have, like, like the motivation that um, I hear a lot from, like, the, the lads and whatever in the northeast that there's, like, a lot of pride 
representing the North East as a whole, not just Newcastle, not just Sunderland, Middlesbrough, Durham, etc., but North East as a whole? Of course, you know, we've, we've always been overlooked. Now, I'm talking back from the amateur days, even when I was, like, even when I was 11 years old, winning my first national title. Hmm. It's, it's so, it's nice, you know what I mean? North East never, we never really get the recognition, you know, but just, just the quality of the boxers that have come from the amateur, amateurs to the pros, it's, it's the, <laughs> the gas, the arm, we're forced to be reckoned with now, you know. Um, yeah. We don't get you know recognition from the big time promoters, uh, like you say, the big shows. More. I know Eddie Earn's starting to put a few more now, and, mm. but um, see when I first turned over four, I think five years ago, there wasn't really much coming about, about you know. So, but yeah, I, I, I love to represent the North East, you know, definitely do. Yeah, that's it, that's it. And what about sparring as well? Because um, obviously with like lightweight, super lightweight, welter, super welter, there's loads of you guys here. So. You've always got good sparring on your doorstep. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, it's not too far away to try and follow us. You know what I mean? We're, all, we're always in each of the gyms week in, week out. So we do get our fair share of good sparring, but mm. even just in my stable alone, for me alone, it's sparring is brilliant. Yeah. yeah, that's right. So, I mean, with like a su super lightweight, um, could you see you and uh, Louis Ritson getting it on one day? Of course, definitely. Yeah. A bit down the pipeline for me, you know what I mean? Because he's flying at the minute, fair trade, and I'm not going to take anything away from Lewis because whatever he's achieved, mate, is absolutely phenomenal, you know? Yeah, yeah. He's doing really well, but like I said, like, I'm, I've had a, what is it, like I said before, I've had a few years out now, I need to get, I need to get some solid solid rounds in my belt, mm. you know, get, them, get the pipes blown out, mate, and then, like I say, when I'm ready, I will, I will step up and I will, I will fight anyone Britain domestically to get my, to catapult myself on the European world stage. Yeah, that was my next question. So, um, you plan on going through the gears, get like uh, the British, Commonwealth, European, and then look at the world? Do you know what? I'd, I'd love to take them all. I'd, I'd, I think every boxer would like to get them all. Um, the British title, I'd, you know, I think I'd say every British boxer's dream to get that long tail belt. Mm -hmm. if, you say, if you say they're not bothered about it, I think it's time to lie or they shouldn't be in the sport because who, who, who wouldn't want to have that? Um, so, yeah, I would love to get the, the British and then progress and get the Commonwealth and do it all properly, but. I'll just take it as it comes, and if the title shot comes, I want it, I want it to take it. As soon as I'm ready, and someone says, right, you can have this IBF Intercontinental, whatever, I'll say yes, you know, I'm not going to turn it down when I'm ready. No, that's right. So I'm not getting any younger now, mate. No. Um, have you had, had like, these conversations with Frank recently, have you? Uh, right. Not so, not so much, really, because, like I said, I've been out, I've been out the ring, I've been out the gym and the ring for, well, not so, so much the gym, but I've been out the ring for a number of, number of years so mm. talking about a couple but it's too too much too soon I think I just want I want I want to feel right in myself and getting in there because I know I'm, I've got the talent to back it up yeah um yeah I need, obviously you need the rounds just so I know that I'm ready in my head you know there's no point walking down to that ring thinking you're going to get a good eye <laughs> that is true <laughs> that, that is know, 36 minutes mate it's a long time run away from someone <laughs> <Get> <laughs> <nothing>, believe me <laughs> that's very very true I mean again you're still undefeated though Yeah, yeah, that's it. Um, is your undefeated record is that important? Is it, or or is the end goal more uh, important? I don't know. I think obviously everyone would like to be undefeated, you know, and it's, it's, it's got a good victory. But you need if you haven't got any big names against it, you know, it's it's way it's just it's, it's way it's just it is what it is, isn't it? It's just fucking yeah. Excuse the language. I don't know. Mm -hmm. it's, it's best. But I think it doesn't matter. I say if I was in a big fight next year and that for instance my first title and I got beat mm. I wouldn't be fussed you know because at least I know I was up there with the, with the, in with the best you know yeah it wouldn't really bother us I know I'd, I know I'd just come back stronger from that you know but it's nice to see you undefeated yeah of course it is but like you say you said you're better off if you were undefeated with a few belts on your head yeah yeah that's true how much advice do you get from like uh, Brad too much he drives me on the bench really <laughs> 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 no, nah, nah, he, he, yeah. nah, he only wants the best for us, that's all, you know, but yeah. when it comes from, like, uh, brother, brother relationship, you know what I mean, sometimes yeah. you can get a little bit, a little bit deep, do you know what I mean, but at the same time, I do take it all on board, but, uh, yeah. yeah, I think it's just because he wants it to do well, you know. Yeah, well, I mate, well, mean, he's a phenomenal fighter. Sorry? Brad, um, in the boxing ring, um, just phenomenal. Well, Brad, he was, yeah, uh -huh. Yeah. He was the best. He was my best sparring partner. <laughs> back, back once over. He was. <laughs> yeah, 
yeah, it was, yeah. But uh, well, we've had a fair few fights. But um, no, he was, he was, he was. Um, it's a shame I couldn't, couldn't uh, just go through worse for it. Reach his, reach his full potential, you know, because like, he definitely could have brought a lot of titles back home, him, definitely. But mm. like I say, the, the amount of years and the number of years, about two, three hundred amateur fights, I think. Yeah. You know, I'll take it all on, on, on anyone's body, you know, so it's just a shame that obviously injuries, picked up a lot of injuries, mm. how we did, and, and it's just happened, what happened, do you know what I mean? It's just very, it's a massive shame, but no, it's, it's, it's just got a it's boxing for you, isn't it? Yeah, that is true. That is true. I mean, that's one of the things that to you guys, I don't, I mean, for me, I don't, I don't have the same mentality as you guys, but uh, you guys, you walk in the ring knowing that this could be your last fight. Yes, of course. And of course. Uh-huh. Um, see, but the people say it's not just about the boxing, it's not about the fight. It's, mm. it, the people forget it's about all the, it's the lead up to the fights, you know, the, yeah, the cooking water, the cooking food, and then do the hard spas the week before, and like and, and you, you, your body, because when, you, when you're doing all these training sessions, like two weeks, a week before your body went to a fight, mm. you haven't got the nutrition in your body, what you have on actual fight night, because you've been waiting, you've got all your food in your you just, you know, you're taking heavy shots of sparring, um, mm-hmm. and they're, actually, they're the ones that actually do the damage, you know, in your training camps, all the, all the sacrifice and everything you put your body through, and, and then obviously on the fight night, the little gloves, the little head guards, obviously, yeah, that, that will take its toll as well, but I think the lead up as well, that's, that's quite dangerous to, to the boxing. Yeah, I see. So, so does your missus now, like, like a support your career? Of course, yeah, uh huh. Yeah. She loves it. Oh, does she? Like, she, gets a lot of, <laughs> she gets nervous on ringside, but who wouldn't? Okay, so, so, so what she likes you getting punched in the head, is that what it is? Is that, is that what you're telling us? Right. <laughs> yeah, he likes to punch me in the head. <laughs> <laughs> That's the new sparring partner for the next six weeks. <laughs> Fantastic. So, have you got like a gym a gym at home, like like the bag and all that kind of stuff? Uh, I've got, but like a, I've just put out Instagram, a video on my Instagram stories. It's like a, like a just sort of somewhere I stands on the floor. It's just like a, it's like half, half a man. <laughs> right. Half a man, I just, and just have two chip shop, chip shop fights with. <laughs> Good thought, and then out. It's, does his job, does his job. Yeah. Well, you seen Joe Laws, his um, gym, his gaff. Yeah, it's brilliant, isn't it? It's, it's really nice, isn't it? I know, I know. He must have been on lockdown, that's why I got all up, though. <laughs> <laughs> no, I no, but then, um, like you see, if I won't let me back on, but I'll be. I think anyway, any boxer would have won him in the back on, mate. No oh. excuses then, have you? No, exactly right, exactly right. Uh, <laughs> well, how hard is it to keep motivated? Because obviously, you don't know when, when you're going to be fighting next, you don't know when you can start camp, camp next. So how motivated, or what's the motivation to keep like the weight down, eating the right food, all that kind of stuff? Personally, for me, um, I, I, don't, I don't talk to men like, oh, why, man? I'm telling you, I'm, I'm finding it hard to get motivated. You know, there's only so many miles you can run. Yeah. And there's only so many rounds I can do on this bag. You know, I've got no one screaming at me, look up. I've got no one to come down the gym and let me fuck the rattlers looked off them. I've got no one to hold the pads for me. Yeah. It's, it is. It's, 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 a bit, it's a lot different, put it that way. Yeah, I'm fine, yeah. I'm fine the motivation, but then again, it's, it's, it's some days it's a bit like, oh, wait, what's, what's happening here? You know what I mean? Right. And food, food wise, I'm doing all right. I'm just having bigger portions. <laughs> 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 Fair enough. Fair enough. It's what you got planned plan, like, like, like the rest of the day. You got, got like the barbecues out, right, like that, enjoying the weather in the garden. No, well, I've done, done the garden this morning. Um, and done a few rounds. Yeah. I think for some for a little bit more. Uh, go off for a, I don't know, go off for a good walk. You know, just enjoy the sun. Why not? Why not? That's about it. Mm. I was going to go to the pub, but then I thought, nah, doesn't matter. <laughs> Closed anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, unfortunately, it is anyway. All right, and Jeff, um, I appreciate your time today. I do, and uh, yeah, thank you, Mark. And uh, what, once the uh, the gym reopens, we'll come down and uh, we'll do it properly. Of course, yeah, I look forward to that. Yeah. Uh, massively. Uh, thank you so much, mate, and you stay safe, okay? And you. Thanks very much, Jeff. You take care. Thanks for your time, mate. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.